many friends ask me how is the performance of amt gearbox in tata tigor they have asked me like whether uh, it has any jerkiness or lagginess uh, we going to find everything today let's see what we have here and before going before getting into this uh, just look at the gear knob it looks so elegant and uh, it is designed well actually for uh, gear knob we have a uh, reverse harness for reverse and neutral and uh, automatic version and most importantly guys you don't have any modes in this bs6 version as what you had in this bs4 you don't have any modes so just uh, dummy plays here i mean you if you want to travel very fast and you don't want that uh, automatic uh, feel you want to do it in a manual you can just easily put over into the manual and you can drive so i'm going to explain you both automatic and uh, how the tiptronic is going to work so i'm going to explain you both so before explaining about the amd gearbox i want to tell you a few uh things that you should know about this car like uh, you have to press the brake lever you have to press the brake lever to start the engine then only the ignition will start and moreover if you want to shift the gears you have to press the brake and then only the gears will engage if you want to move to the reverse or uh, if you want to move to the automatic version i mean automatic mode you have to press the brake then only the gears will engage uh, let me show you i'm not pressing the brake now i'm just going to move it to the reverse but it will not work it will just give the alarm like this like it is still in neutral you can see there i've just moved to the reverse but it is still in neutral because i have not pressed the brake this ensures the safety actually guys this is a good thing uh, i want you to guys to know if you guys are not aware of this please wear the seat belt whenever you start or drive the car and ask your uh, co passenger to wear the seat belts it will ensure the safety so guys actually you can see that uh, it is in neutral mode which uh, which is displayed here and every gears that you move on it will display here so and also you can see that uh, there is a neutral and a small a button there uh, that uh, refers to automatic mode if you move uh, it to the manual mode it changes to m there and you can easily see there it is it will be 1 and em there and if i move it to automatic mode and it will show there a small a with in neutral mode so that is a difference you can view there whether you're driving in automatic mode or in uh, manual mode okay so it is in first gear automatic so let's move the car So guys, when the speed reaches to uh, 15 km per hour like that, uh, immediately the doors will automatically close and ensures that uh, I'm wearing a seat belt. So if I'm not wearing a seat belt, it will automatically alarms over there. So now I'm going in a speed of 70 km per hour. When I shift to 20 km, I mean when I'm going in 20 km speed, it will automatically changes to second gear as you can see there. So the shifting of gears is actually uh, aligned in the manner like uh, when i'm going in a 20 km speed it will go in it will uh, automatically goes to second gear and if i'm touching 30 km per speed automatically it will goes to uh, third gear so the thing is like uh, if you're driving a manual car then uh, once you're uh, going in a 15 km per hour speed you you will automatically turn the gear to second gear but in automatic version it will take its time uh, to see whether uh, in which speed you are actually going if you reach 20 km per hour then only it shifts to second gear otherwise it will be in the first gear so you can feel then you can feel the throb inside actually you can feel that engine sound inside when uh, it is going in the first gear so now i'm going in the second gear as you can see over there mm -hmm. and let me show here So now I'm running in 30 km per hour. So it is now in third gear. This this is what the gear shift actually happens, guys. So let's see whether uh, I feel any lagginess or jerkiness uh, while the gears are shifting. Actually, I don't feel any lagginess or jerkiness, guys, when the gears are shifting. Uh, one gear shifting thing is like uh, when it uh, shifts from first gear to second gear. When you're reaching 20 km per hour, then only the second gear will shift. so you can feel a small rev inside so let me show you that guys now the speed breaker is coming and uh, the speed is just reducing it automatically goes to second gear and even in the 12 km per hour it is still in the second gear you can see that so it maintains the speed and uh, avoids the jerkiness actually even you can see like i am in a 15 km per hour so i am still in second gear 
So let me reduce the speed. Let's see how it uh, reduces to first gear. I'm going to slow it down. So 15. So now I came to 9. Yeah. Now it came down to first gear, guys. So al almost till uh, 9 km per 10 km per the gear is maintained to second gear actually. Then only it's coming to first gear. But when you initially start from first gear to second gear, it, it almost takes 20 km per hour to test that to reach the second gear actually so let's see here now i'm uh, driving in first gear now i'm driving in first gear automatic mode in zero kilometer per hour so now i'm going to raise the car raise the car so guys just like that it shifts to second gear i don't feel any big lagginess guys actually just like that it shifts to third gear you can see over there there is no lagginess guys actually and guys you know what is the reason behind this guys whenever you park your car uh, for more than 8 hours or 10 hours you wait after it uh, turning on the ignition for one or two minutes to the car gets settled down to the engine gets gets its momentum then you start your car guys then you will not feel any lagginess when you're driving the car into the city or into the highways the initial lagginess will be completely avoided so this is the reason why it is not giving me any lagginess you can hear that guys a small amount of rev sound so this is where only the gear when it's shifting from first gear to second gear you can feel that rev noise inside because uh, as i already told you it has to get its uh, speed limit to change the gear that is the only thing where you can hear that rev noise inside the cabin otherwise when it's changing when it's changing to third gear or fourth gear you don't hear those noises inside it automatically and easily changes and it is very smooth guys very smooth in changing so guys almost i've explained most of the things about this car and if you want to know uh, just get into my channel and you can see more videos about tara decor you, you, you can know many things about tara decor in my channel and if you like more videos uh, apart from that please let me know uh, please let me know in which area i should specifically do a video i'll definitely do it for you here i'm going to try the overtaking part actually i'm not going to take any risk but still uh if there is a possible thing possible way i'll overtake but otherwise i will not do it uh and uh, you may ask me how the overtax works actually in the automatic gear of tara tigor the overtaking thing is like uh, inside the city when you're driving in a speed limit of uh, 20 km per hour then uh, you have to plan guys because uh, as i already told you like uh, if it is in a speed limit of uh, 20 km or uh, in between of uh, 10 to 20 km then the overtaking is uh, overtaking is not advisable actually guys because uh, you can feel that gear changing thing then it will slow down and then get its momentum so i'll not advise you when you're traveling in a speed of uh, 20 km or 25 around the thing uh, above that you can definitely try guys you can uh, uh, try for a overtaking i want to overtake that honda city guys that is my target let me see how it works for me yeah it is quite possible guys i've easily done the overtaking so guys the car is absolutely good for overtaking no issues many would have said that you should have uh, a bit of plan yes when you're driving in a slower speeds you should have a plan to do a overtake but if you're driving in a higher speeds overtaking is not at all issue guys and now i'm traveling in a fifth gear and the speed limit is 50 then i reduce to 49 it automatically shifts to fourth gear so this is how it works this is how the amt works hey guys i don't have any hilly areas nearby so i can't just go and uh, test drive on the hilly areas uh, i have to plan a separate video for that because uh, i am in chennai right now and from chennai the hilly areas are almost uh, uh, 200 or uh, 300 kilometers away so at least minimum i'll think like uh, it should be 150 kilometers away from here so i have to travel over there and try in the hilly area so i'm not going to do that but still i'll find any slopey areas where you can see whether it is capable to climb up the slopey areas so guys also i plan to do a separate video on the ac performance of tara tigor uh, but the but the climate is quite good it is it was raining uh, yesterday so the climate is quite cool here and it is uh, and the temperature is almost to 28 degrees celsius it is a good climate in chennai 
so when it is really really hot day i'll definitely do a separate video on the ac performance of the car i'm going i'm not going to sit in the front to check that i'm going to sit at the back and check that because many people will complain that Tata Tigor is not having a rear AC so it is a big deal for them so I'm going to check that sitting in the rear and uh, let's see how the AC actually performs so to see that please do subscribe to my channel and wait for that video I'll definitely do that as uh, absolutely I'll say you guys the drive is actually very smooth into the city I don't feel any big lagness I mean I don't feel any lagness guys actually the drive is actually very smooth and going good and even in the slower speeds even the higher speeds the gear shiftings are done the gear shifts are doing really good so I'm happy that I got this car I'll also recommend you to go for a test drive and uh, do a test drive of a uh, AMT version of a uh, Tata Tigor it will be really good and amazing really good so guys we have seen uh, how the AMT actually worked uh, so now I'm going to change it to the manual mode and see how the manual mode is going to work so in Tiptronic we have only uh, the plus and minus button so it's just if you want to increase the speed you can move it to the plus button if you want to decrease the speed you can easily move to the minus button so just I'm going to move now so I'm going to move it to the manual mode now so as you can see there it shows one and m a small m over there so it refers to first gear in manual mode uh, so let's see how it works in the manual mode so i'm just going to release the brake now only after releasing the brake the car automatically moves to the speed of uh, almost seven and guys i'm going to press the acceleration now it shows me an arrow mark that i need to shift the gear so i'm just going to shift the gear now a plus symbol so i've shifted the gear to second gear now it automatically shows that I'm in second gear manual mode and the speed limit is going as uh, and the speed shows here is 25 km per hour in second gear and a speed kilometer of 30 so just increasing my speed here so automatically it refers me to change the gear arrow symbol will appear to uh, arrow symbol will appear and it asks me to change the gear so I'm just changing the gear now so I've changed the gear to third now now the speed kilometers now the speed is running now the speed is 40 kilometer 44 46 so i'm just going to increase the speed now it automatically refers me to change the gear to a higher gear so i'm changing to fourth gear now so in fourth gear it shows me to decrease the gear actually because i'm just slowing up the car now so i'm going to decrease the gear to third like what i can feel is like uh, i can easily handle the car by shifting the gears myself it works fine for me i'm going to increase the speed to 54 i'm just going to increase the gear and it easily shifts the gear guys just a small upper button and it easily shifts the gear my feedback of tiptronic mode is like it it works superbly fine i don't feel any big issues uh, it works really good it automatically symbols me to increase the gear or decrease the gear and these features are really good guys so if you're going to buy the amt version of tara tigor i definitely recommend you to go and buy this car guys because you have so many options in amt you can you can move the gears to manual transmission and also there is a digital uh, instrument cluster which shows you in which gear you're actually going and if you're increasing the speed uh, whether you need to increase the gear or decrease the gear it automatically shows you everything a lot of information is shown in this uh instrument cluster so this car is actually amazing guys in this amt version it is actually amazing and the only thing i have to show you is the uh is to drive this car in a slopey area so let's let's uh, that's the only thing i'm going to show you now so let's try that now So guys, uh, as I already told you that I don't have any hill stations nearby, so I'm going to try. Uh, so I'm going to try here in this uh, small uh, slope area. At, I mean, uh, it is quite high, high area. I mean, it's quite high. So I'm going to try it here. So let's see how it works here. How the car actually climbs up well. So whether it struggles or it just goes smoothly, let's try it here. And let's see and yeah it 
if you increase the rpm the car actually goes well in the high areas but if you have a low rpm then it quite struggles to get high quite struggles to get move on so this is how it goes guys uh, as far as my uh, feedback is like it's okay not great i mean uh, it's good actually not great but it's good so for the slope areas this car actually works fine but uh, again you have to plan and uh, move on yeah that's it for today guys if you like my video just like the video and subscribe to my channel i'll i have a plan to post more videos on tigor other cars also so please subscribe to my channel tada bye